Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to everybody. So, uh, we continue our classes for KOT 1 to 2. I hope uh, you already uh, review some lecture notes and also uh, record the lectures that have been made before and including answering just uh, a few set of uh, test questions. Not test questions, it's a training set of questions. So, uh, I leave... Uh, on Monday, I left you, okay, with this kind of questions, okay? Question number one, draw the resonance structure for the following cations, okay? We know, we understand that cation is the, the, the molecules that contain positive charge. The molecule that contains a uh, cations. Okay, this is the first task. What you have to understand. Okay, and um, what the question asks to you. Okay, the resonance structures. Okay, this is your first task. First one. The second one. Then draw resonance hybrids. Okay, the resonance structure. You have to understand the definition of resonance structures. Okay. The resonance structures is the with the similar uh, arrangements of molecules, but different arrangements of bonds, electrons. That's all. Okay, it's different with with the <coughs> with the isomers. Okay, and what is the resonance hybrid? Resonance hybrid is a combinations of resonance structures. And in the lecture notes, we have a major contributor and minor contributors. Okay, we will see a few examples of this. So, how you can draw the resonance structures? First, what you can move is only pi bonds and charge. In this case, you have to understand also how to calculate the formal charge. Okay. Okay, what we can do is, okay, first, uh, they have, uh, I guess, they have around five resonance structures, okay? Okay, first, move this arrow, okay, and draw the second structures. Second structures, okay, first, okay, uh, first we have this one. Okay, pass. Move it here. Oh no, my God. Okay. Let's cut. Okay, I'll do it again. It's quite a long time to lose this pen. Okay, so first, what we can do is like this. Okay, oh, charge. So you have to move here, and the arrow should be like this. Okay, not single headed arrow. So draw the new arrangements of compounds. So here it's become like this again, like this, and have to calculate the formal charge roughly. From here, positive charge, we've moved to here. Okay. Next, we still can move, okay, by moving this, this bond. So, it's become like this. Draw all the sigma bond, okay. Okay. Like this, sigma bonds, this one is pi bond but that doesn't involve in resonance this time. So it's become like this. Okay, now where is the positive charge? It's not here. It should be here. Okay. And after that, oh, sorry, they have another one.
correct. And, uh, don't forget to draw the correct uh, compounds because uh, it will affect uh, your marks, okay? Because you are drawing the different questions. So, and again, because this one is the aromatic, you can easily move like this. Okay. And next, draw the uh, next uh, resonance structures. Okay, move here, here, and here. Again, the charge still here because we already moved the the the, the pi bond only. So what's next? Okay, next. This pi bonds. Okay, where's the charge? It's here. Okay, understand. Okay, okay. This is the five resonance structures, including the. The, 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 the structure is coming from the questions okay so complete okay it's a uh, four marks i can give four marks if you draw correctly okay so draw the resonance hybrids okay the second one is your task is draw resonance hybrid it's kind of combinations okay combinations are combination of all resonance structures okay so how to do it okay the debate is not the issues okay draw okay draw all the sigma bond okay like this so uh, we know the position of charge it's here okay it's delta positive here because of this one in the beginning the positive is here okay the positive is here next okay it's here Delta positive is here okay lastly it's here it's a delta positive is here okay so because the movement of pi bonds so it's like a dash here, dash one, two. Including this one. Okay, this is the resonance hybrid structures. Okay, I hope it's clear. Okay, understand the definitions. What is the resonance structures? Okay, first, the second one. What you can move only two by bond and also charge. And to, to assign the charge, you have to do some calculation for the formal charge, for example, like this. Right? Because when you move the pipe bond here, this is less uh less uh, pi orbitals, okay? So the charge positive is should be here. Okay. Next questions, I give you set, another set of questions, okay? Uh, I, I guess yesterday I already posted this one, so we'll do it now. Let's go. So let me post this one. Post this one. Okay, chapter one, discussions. Okay, first questions. Okay, uh, creatine is the demon for some athlete to boost their athletic performance. Okay, uh, the first task is draw all lone pair in creatine. Okay, the second one, draw two additional structures showing lone pair and formal charges. So, okay. The, uh, the question is still ans uh, asked about the, the resonance structures. So, okay, the first task is draw 
all lone pair in graphene. So, okay, so just do it like this. Okay, put okay because um uh, nitrogen is a uh, row five, so it should have five electrons. So they are sharing with this one one two three four uh, one two three with uh, two hydrogens here four and five. Okay. And also for this one, nitrogen only can make three, 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 uh, three sigma bonds, and uh, nitrogen itself have one pair of electrons, okay, including this um, this uh, <clears throat> anion here for the oxygens. So oxygen uh, can make only two bonds, but uh, oxygen itself have two pair of electrons, okay. So again, okay, I hope you understand how to draw the lone pair. Understand. Draw all lone pair, not shared. Okay, this one, one, this one, two, this one, uh, this is lone pair. Okay, to make, uh, to make yourself uh, easier to understand, uh, it's better to draw and show the lone pair because Sometimes during the exams, what I can say is uh, when you try to answer the questions uh, rush, okay, sometimes nitrogen can make four bonds, okay. Suddenly you draw, okay, nitrogen can make uh, four bonds without any charge, but actually they can make officially three bonds, okay, for the neutral elements, okay. Next question is, uh, Draw two additional resonance structures showing all on pair and formal charge. Okay. So again, okay, what you can do is okay, first, as I said, you can move only two things, charge and also pi bond only. So what you can do is you just move here. Okay. So it's become like this. So make sure you do the calculation for formal charge and the positive charge is moved from nitrogen on the top to, to the bottoms. So it's become this one for the first resonance structures. And the second resonance structures, again, you can move from here to this. Uh, to the next uh, nitrogens with tetraia, tetraia means here. So, and you can get the second resonance structures. Okay, for this one, and this one is a uh, first resonance structures. Don't forget to calculate the normal charge, the formal charge. Okay, and don't forget to to put uh, <clears throat> to put the charge for the. Uh, the element that have been here. Okay, so there is another student uh, asked me uh, last last semester, I guess. Okay, La last two semesters. Okay, is it possible to do to move this one? Yeah, sure. Okay, you can move easily from from here because they have extra electron here. Yeah, it means they have another one, another and. Uh, Resonance structures, okay, and yes, okay, don't forget this one, okay, and don't forget to complete all the series of. Okay, if they are asked to draw the resonance bits, you can do it. Okay, it's a combination of the resonance structures. Okay. Next questions. Okay, with reference to anion A, okay, just refer this anion A, okay, label compound B to E. S and isomers, uh, 
horizon and stretches. Horizon and stretches, okay. For isomers, for isomers indicate what bonds are different from A. Okay, we have A as a reference, okay. And we see the, the B is isomers because if we see clearly, okay, this one have less hydro hydrogens here. Okay, less one hydrogen. This one has more hydrogens here. Okay, and for this one, okay, it's a resonance structures. How? Okay, how? Okay, we try to do it. Okay, mm, how to do it? Okay, mm, okay. See, so let me do okay. Let me do like this. Okay, again, this by all we did here, and if we show them, the structures. Okay, D, D is isomers because, okay, in this time, this one has, this one is CH, this one this time is CH, so, okay, it's different, okay, and this one is less hydrogen here, this one has, because there has only empty orbital here okay d is isomers for the e is resonance structures how okay let do one by one so um how to do it okay easy this one like this and okay. like this again it will try to give you Okay, the keyword is if you want to know whether your compound is resonance or isomers, try to move an electron and pi bond first, and after that, you can decide whether your compound is isomers or resonance. Okay, how many questions there? We have six questions. Okay, it's okay. Next question. I guess still resonance structures. It's mean resonance structures is uh, quite important topic for the chapter one. Okay, add curve arrow to show how the first resonance structure can be converted to the second. Okay, this is the first resonance structures. How uh, we can convert to second one? Okay. Okay. First, uh, okay, the, what they said is uh, don't forget the long pairs, the, draw the long pairs here, okay. So again, use your pencils or your pen, move the a pair of electrons here, and again, calculate the formal charge, and you will realize that N should be plus one, okay. The, 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 the The, the question is quite clear at the curve arrow only. Okay, so okay, next questions. Okay, how to do that? <clears throat> First, okay, do it like this. Okay, you have to move this one, this one, and this one. We get this one. Okay. If you want to move like this one and cannot okay this one and you doesn't want to move i don't want to move to this one these circles are uh, anti-clockwise i want to follow the clockwise cannot because what we can move is charge and also pi bond only okay that's why we have to do anti-clockwise okay okay this is already the questions, okay? Go, next, okay. 
in this chapter also we already uh, study about the hybridizations and also geometry okay so for these questions okay predict the hybridization and geometry okay you have two tasks here predict hybridizations and geometry around the circular circle circle atoms okay so in this case in this case is oxygen with the positive charge because they make another bond okay with uh, i guess this one is methyl so uh, it should be positive charge by uh, if you calculate the formal charge here so okay the basic uh, rules for hybridizations so you have to know how uh, many groups are joined with that elements for example if you go to four groups it's become tetrahedral okay if there are two linears if there are three is trigonal panel but tetrahedral they have another i guess another three another two okay three actually tetrahedral itself okay second one is band the third one is trigonal trigonal pyramidal yes good siapa je kak ah asha okay okay so you have to observe this one first okay so for this oxygen so you have four groups okay and it's sp3 because they have four groups okay it's related with this one is a sp3 sp and sp2 okay and it's <coughs> it's a, what we call tetrahedral but in terms of geometry it's a trigonal pyramidals okay because uh, if you realize the geometry like this it's become like this okay oxygens with a ch3 so the shape like this okay, that's what we call trigonal pyramid okay oxygen force everything down okay but say the tool okay so for the c for the c uh, for, for the b okay this one you have to draw hydrogen here hydrogen here they have four groups four atoms absolutely this is sp3 hybridizations and this is a tetrahedral tetrahedral is like this okay um, i can see this here. Okay, it is shaped like this. Okay. And last, uh, second last is uh, alkyne, triple bonds. Okay. So they have two groups, two atom, sp hybridizations. Okay. sp hybridization, it should be linear. Okay. And lastly, uh, three groups. Okay. Because they have a pi bond here. That's why we have oxygens and also uh, lone pairs. is a uh, trigonal pyramids okay it's quite easy to understand this one okay and if you have any question we can discuss about this one further okay um, doctor yes sorry doctor may i know what's the yeah, difference yeah, between yeah, tetrahedral yes. and tetrahedral yes may i know what is the difference between the tetrahedral and tetrahedron tetrahedral and tetrahedral it's not difference but uh, because uh, the tetrahedral, because tetrahedral have uh, an added additional two, because if you use the normal rules, sp3, and you assign directly tetrahedral, but it depends on the whether they have a lone pair or not. If they have a lone pair, one lone pair, it's become trigonal pyramidals. If they have another two pair, like example, water, okay, 
water uh, h2o h2o okay if you draw like this it's become like this and it have uh, two pair of electrons it will force proton to going down that's why we call band band shape in another box they call v shape okay i hope it's clear chan okay doctor yes siapa tu um uh, asha okay ah, yes. so wait wait asha okay uh, yeah Okay, sure. Yes. Uh, so doctor, uh, for answer D, uh, is it really trigonal planar because it only have two atoms and one lone pair? D, uh, yes, 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 yes. Shouldn't it be band or something? No. No, it's trigonal planar. Oh, okay. Okay, because the shape like this, uh, the shape will be like this. Trigonal planar is uh, like this. Um, Mm, let me think. Uh, okay, okay. Have to imagine this one. Um, I'm not gonna... This one. Oxygen, CH3. Okay. It's like a uh, X, Y, Z. It's a planar like this. Okay, so it just like that only. Okay, it's not bent. Okay, Ashra. Okay, good time. Okay, welcome. Any question for this one? okay good okay perfect okay okay there is actually there is a lot a lot of an exercise in uh in your uh, reference books you can do exercise and after that you can discuss with me the questions and if you don't understand i'm happy to assist everybody okay don't worry okay but i will not give you the the, the, the answer directly okay so refer uh, number five okay refer the compound below so we have nicotine okay, anybody who loves smoke uh, cigarettes we have nicotine here so uh what is hybridizations of each nitrogen atoms okay how many nitrogen atom we have here it's uh one it's two okay for the a this one is four groups okay we we choose uh there is sp3 is tetrahedrals okay sp3 hybridizations okay and for this one is just count the long uh, to, to, to know whether it is sp2 or sp3 just count the sigma bond and lone pair only okay so in this case they have one two sigma bond one lone pair is sp2 okay because if you remember, yes, SP2, yes, yes, SP2. Okay, and uh, what is the geometry of each N atom? So this one is trigonal planar. And this one is trigonal pyramidal. Okay. C, okay, draw the constitutional isomorph of nicotine, constitutional isomer, or in Malay we call isomer. But you can just move this one. Just move this one, okay. Okay, like this. Okay, lastly, draw the resonance structures. It's only one resonance structures. Just move the, this one. 
we give the resonance transforms. Okay, this this question is quite direct. So you have to, if you understand the uh, definitions, uh, it's easy for you to do the uh, to answer the questions. Okay. Okay. Next, last questions. Explain why carbocation A is more stable than carbocation B. Okay, so they ask you to explain why the big why carbocation A is more stable than carbocation B. Okay, why? Anybody can answer these questions? I want to try. You want to try? Yeah. Yeah, please. Ashra. Okay, because structure in carbon A and A has a double bond while structure B don't have double bond. In structure A, electron in pi bond can be delocalized, whereas in structure B, electron is localized. Yeah. Therefore, structure B is more prone to react with other molecules especially a negatively charged ion, eh, while structure A are less reactive. Therefore, structure A is more stable than structure B. Okay, it's partial, partially correct. Okay, why this one, this, this, uh, this uh, carbohydrate cation is more stable? Because they have a resonance structure. That's the only answer, okay? Because uh, for this kind of question, if, I put inside the, the exam, it just only two marks, not much. So how to do it? So, okay, first you have to show um, localized, delocalized is one marks. The second one, uh, uh, the, the uh, capability of uh, compound A to prefer resonance structures. In general, more resonance structures, more ability of that particular molecule to, to have more uh, resonance structure is more stable. Okay, so for this one, they have another resonance structures. Yeah, okay, just move to here. Okay, so you will see this, so the charge will be here. Good, I could the formal charge. Okay, localize, delocalize, de localize. Okay, it's correct. Okay, I bagi soalan sikit sangat ini. Okay, so I think. <laughs> We just finished the class for today. So uh, uh, I guess I will give you another exercise uh, to, 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 to discuss about this more. So uh, I think that's all for today. Thank you very much. Anybody, you have questions? Siapa ada soalan? Doctor, I have a question. So who is that? Ah, Lum, okay. Lum, okay. Lucas, oh, where is it? Lucas or no? Just now question 3B, uh, why you say the electron can move, can only move in anti-clockwise direction? Oh, okay, okay. Let, let, let me go. Anti-clockwise, yes, anti-clockwise. Uh, why you don't understand? You want to move it here? Yeah, why I can't move? Uh, cannot, because... Uh, Okay, if you if you remember resonance structures, okay, resonance structures. Okay, move only pi bond. Okay, electron. Okay, charge or oh, charge. Okay, so if you want to move okay, for this one. Okay, you want to move it here, okay? So this is um doesn't follow the octet rules. Okay, mana lagi nak bagi? You want to move? You 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 want to force whom to move? You cannot force sigma bond because sigma bond is head to head. What you can move is the pi bond. The pi bond is have to move it here. Okay, uh, try to understand in easiest way. If you want to understand in a complicated way, can also. If you want to force, normally this one, you move to anticlockwise, okay? If you want to move this one to counterclockwise, can also, but it's quite complicated to understand, 
Okay, you have to understand sometimes the scheme is coming for us. Okay, when we try to marking your, your questions, there is only one scheme. Okay, if you answer uh, different with others or the scheme that we get, it will take a time and sometimes we just put again at the back. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, it's better to understand in simplest way. I just want to deliver in simplest way, okay, not complicated way. Okay, if you want to think like that, yes, but be careful. Sometimes it could be wrong. Okay, anybody have questions? Okay, I have. Doctor. Siapa tu? Oh, never mind. He first. Ashraf, okay. Uh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, me, me, me. Uh, okay. Oh, Ashraf, so, first. Uh, I should answer. Okay. Yes, I should. Okay. Uh, try to see question number five. Five. Okay. And for resin structure of nicotine, can I move the pi bond? Okay. See the nitrogen at the below. Mm -hmm. Right. Can yes. I move the pi bond? Uh, beside the nitrogen and move pi it to the nitrogen. Beside the nitrogen. Pi bond where? Who? Uh, uh at the bottom. Uh, by point near the nitrogen. This one? Uh, which one? This one? Uh, what is your cursor? Uh, no, no, no. The, the one at the bottom. This Another one? one. Eh? Where is your cursor? I cannot see. This one? No. Oh, no, no, no. The one at the bottom. The, the left one. This one? Uh, nitrogen, nitrogen. This one? Nitrogen. Uh, no. No, no, no. At the bottom. Uh, the, the left, the left, uh, has a gone. Ah, that one, that one. This one? Ah. Oh, okay. Uh, can, otherwise, it's one? not nicotine anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I cannot, I cannot move that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. In reality, they have only two, uh, two, two nicotine. This type and another one, the isomers. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. But we don't, uh we don't ask you this kind of question it's too it's too easy i just take it as a set of questions for training that's all okay okay we have one, one participant today chan okay chan yes chan for oh, 5c is that the 5C. only question 5C. okay the only yeah. answer for the recording yeah, this is the answer for nicotine. Five C C draw the quotation as yes, 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 yes. There's so only one answer. Yes, only one answer. Okay. And then for E, can I e. make the okay. uh, sorry, D D D the resonance structure? Uh yes, okay. This one, okay. Can I say um make it like got the formal charges? Formal charges? Yeah. Positive in it and, doesn't have and any negative. Here, just... This one is neutral neutral compound. Yeah, if I make it like got two charges there, one 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 positive and one negative. Oh no, it cannot be fine. because this one is a normal charge. Uh, uh, neutral neutral compounds. Oh, okay. Okay, for oh. neutral compound, you cannot. <laughs> yeah. Be careful when you put the charge. Yeah? You have to calculate carefully the formal charge. Okay. I don't simply put a plus. I just want to put uh, this one. Okay. I just want to put plus and minus. It becomes neutral. No, it's not like that. Okay. Okay. This is only one resonant, uh, resonant section. Mm. To understand more about this one, this uh, kind of questions that I give it to you is not enough. Okay. You have to do more, 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 a lot of questions from uh, our reference books. So I, I'm, I'm happy to, to, to assist you and discuss with you about this one. Okay. Don't be shy. Just uh, tell me, doctor, I just want to, to have a discussion with you. Just do it, the question, and we will discuss online. Don't worry. Okay. Nor Hidayah, more bond. What, what do you mean more bond? That one, the question yang before, the, the last one, number six. The resonance? No, no. This one, number six. Uh, ah, uh, yeah, okay. most, uh, most stable. 
or is more stable. Uh, the keyword is, is what is more stable because uh, this compound have more resonance structures compared to B. Localized, delocalized is correct also. Okay, Raya. Uh, uh, saya nak tanya. Uh, siapa yeah. tu? Daya, yes. Daya juga. Uh, nak tanya yang tadi tu kan yang uh, pergerakan elektron dia memang kena ikut um, apa tu arah lawan arah jam ataupun dia depend uh, on the question. It depend on the charge. Ah, uh, depend on the question uh, siapa? Yes, but for for I I think I'm not Lucas or another one Lum as about this one. Is it follow counterclockwise or clockwise to 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 make it easy for you to to uh, to make sure everybody see the view? It's better to follow the anti-clockwise. The the big the big questions. If you want to follow the clockwise, it's okay. But the problem is nobody can see the whole pictures of the compounds. Okay. Okay, sir. So, uh, the arrow. Siapa lagi? Daya juga. Yeah, yes. Yang arrow tu memang kita kena lukis eh. Ke kalau tak lukis pun tak apa. Yang arrow yang merah. Yeah. Okay, everybody have different abil uh, abilities. For me, is okay if you are not uh, if you are not uh, drawing and show the movement of electrons or something like that. But for uh, to 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 get everybody's to make it easy for for everybody's you have to show the arrows of movement movement of electron or bonds it you have to because it will guide us as the examiners okay to understand how you want to deliver it okay 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 um, so, no organic chemistry arrows is very important Okay, for example, if you draw the resonance structure, you just draw like this. If I see it, I will see it wrong because it should be this one. It means it's a ability of compound to transform to resonant first resonance structure to second resonance structures. Okay. Uh... Okay, so 5D, is it possible to move a long pair of first left nitrogen to single bond? Okay, 5D, let's see, 5D, okay, cannot, cannot, uh, he, 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 uh, cannot, 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 if you want to move uh, this uh, pair of electron, cannot, because you will affect Okay, because you will affect the what I want to say. Well, because originally the compound is neutral, it's not in charge. If the compound in is in charge, it could be different. Okay, because if you want to move this one, you have okay, because this is already a pair. If you want to move pair of electron. Mana lagi carbon? Carbon memang memang ada lapan saja. You nak force mana satu pergi? You nak which one you want to force? Takkan you nak buang hidrogen? Cannot. Okay, even though you can say nitrogen uh, can be positive, that's why you have to be careful when you try to try to transfer a charge or move the electron. But consider the general ideas about the making bond. You have to follow the octet rules, except back to the lecture notes, 2A and 3A. Okay. Okay, Havinder. Pirza, Zulkanain. Okay, Doctor. When the question asks about geometry, mean you will need to state the shape. Yes, correct. To make it easy for you and safe for you also, okay. SP3 slash or comma tetrahedral sp3 comma bin shape sp3 comma trigonal pyramidals okay okay firzana okay chu yuan yi okay 5d if i push it to another corner of pentagon not mm, yes but um in our scheme only two okay these structures 
in these stretches. Okay, can you imagine we have 400 scripts and we have to finish in one week. So <laughs> sometimes we don't have time to, 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 to review the answer that's different from our uh, scheme. So it depends on, on the examiner. Sometimes they are, they are hard working. So they will do double check, triple checks with another source. But in, in normal case, we just put it wrong. Okay. But for to ask about the constitutional isomer, it's too easy for us because uh, for the finals, we have 11 chapters. So can you imagine uh, how many questions we can ask only for one chapter? Okay. Okay, Chu. Okay, this question is uh, quite easy, but I just using for for the for the training set. Okay, uh, doctor, okay. I have a question. Uh, Lucas, yes, Lucas, yes. <laughs> yeah. So for the long pair, we counted it as a group, right? Because uh, last time when we were learning the parts, uh, we got different info. So now we are a bit confused. Okay, okay, okay. As a group, also yes, yes. As a group, because mm. uh. If if just now two uh two bonding pair one long pair last time we will uh make it as a band shape yeah okay so now it's uh pyramid uh combined pyramid. with a groups also yes okay uh for 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 the shape shape you mean Lucas shape eh? uh, yeah uh, okay. I think it was question question number five yeah. Ah, okay, consider it. Okay, but you have to consider is you have to consider the sigma bond in charge only. So, uh, pi bond ignore. Okay, oh, so in this because this one this one is sigma bond sigma bond sigma bond one plus charge is a three plus one so it's become four groups. It's classified as tetrahedral. Classify as tetrahedral, but you have to classify again whether it's tetrahedral itself, band shapes, or trigonal pyramid. Uh, the uh, doctor, the one made me confusing is the question, uh, the answer for E. E, e. This one? The last one. This one? The last one. Yeah. This one? Be because last time, if we were learning, we were, we were, uh, if two groups and one log pair, we will classify it as a band shape from uh, our uh, syllabus last time. I, I guess you confused with the table, right? Summarize table. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Be careful with that one. So, uh, summarize table is, uh, yeah, I, I understand very well. So, uh, yes, 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 yes. Be careful with this, uh, that summarize table. So, so uh, I guess it's better to make sure everybody understand this, this subtopics do more exercise about this one okay there's a lot of exercise i guess uh, in next exercise that we give give to everybody uh, we have another another question also regarding this geometry but normally okay this geometry is too easy uh, we don't ask for the subjective we are prepared to ask for objective okay okay, thank you, okay. Uh, okay? Oh, doctor, and then for the last question. Last which one? Right, which one? Uh, the question number six. Yeah, my question is quite simple. Okay. Uh, I said that uh, a, a carbocation ion A is more stable than B because it has a double bond inside the carbon ring and then it can delocalize within the carbon ring and form various resonance structures. No, uh, just don't, don't use uh, various uh, resonance structures, it just uh, can form a resonance structures. First, okay. uh, to answer this one, uh, probably I just give to you three marks for this one. First, you have to explain uh, localize first, delocalize, second, two marks. One, you have to show what is the meaning uh, delocalize, it means the ability of compound A to make a resonance structure. So you have to show how, how to do the second structure of resonance transformation from this first resonance structures to the second resonance structures okay thank you doctor welcome lucas okay two three all right doctor hello doctor yes who is that chan chan yes chan okay one last question for me so for yeah. question six do you mind listening to me yeah yeah sure, sure. answer 
Okay, so resonance can be happen in A instead of B due to the pi bond in A can be delocalized, hence it. Yes, so the answer is makes sense. Okay. Uh, so fast. <laughs> I haven't completed. So hence the delocalizations enhance the stability of A, and A have two resonance structures that, sorry, thus it is resonance stabilized. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's easy because I, I had the keywords resonance. Localized, delocalized is the keywords for me. So I, that's why I, I said your answer is correct. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And then if in the examinations, can we, no, should we draw the resonance form? Yes. For example, eh, you are dead weight. You check out your career, you are dead weight. And suddenly you can approve lah. Creator, ke? Okay. Statement, ke? Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Good luck, Chan. Okay. Hello, doctor. I have mm, a who question. Is who is that? Uh, uh, Elson. 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 Okay. I have a question about the previous questions about trigonal pla planner. Mm -hmm. The one with uh, 4E. 4E. For e. For e. See. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Right then, what can I do? Uh, Okay, so back then we learned that uh, the repulsive force between the lone pairs and bonding pair would be greater than the uh, bonding pairs. So it should be bent shape, right? No, it's not bent shape. It's a bit confused about it. Because it's already on plan. Huh? Okay, for example, imagine this one is a lone pair. This one is double bond. This one is Gaussian straight. It's too far. It's too far. Because if, uh, because because is if uh if it's trigonal planar, it should be one hundred twenty degree from each other, right? Yes. From each of the pair, but then if it's lone pair, it should have a stronger repulsive force. Therefore, it's less than You have to understand. You have to understand. Double bond is stronger bond than. Oh. Bond is so stronger oh. bond than. Double bond. Single bond. Yes, single bond. And again, why double bond is stronger than single bond? Why? Because it involves another. Five point. Yes. Okay. Can you imagine during your studies? Okay. Sigma bond is formed like this, right? Okay. Sigma. Okay. Five bond. Head to head, side to side. Okay. Siapa yang tadi ya? Ah, ramai sangat sudah ni. Is that you Chu yang tanya? Bukan? No, it's Chan. Elson. Ne, uh, Elson, sorry, sorry, sorry. I sebut nama orang yang petik nama orang ni. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we can stop now. Okay, because I already take you five more minutes. Okay. Thank you very much for today. And I hope uh, I will post another set of questions and we will, we will discuss uh, on tomorrow. Hopefully, inshallah. So uh, I will update soon uh, about the, 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 the questions that we will discuss tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much for, for today and looking forward to meet everybody. Same numbers, 171 tomorrow. Okay, stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.